Hi friends, this is an example of how to fill a tax info for the Google AdSense. So when you go to the Google AdSense and you open up the tax info, if you just want to, you know, to fill it up so that you can be paid your money from YouTube or from, you know, Google, sometimes they tell you that your you need to fill the Ireland tax info. Sometimes it is the American tax info. So I'm going to fill both. So for the Ireland tax info here, they are asking you what is your business type. It is either individual or non-individual. So in this case, if you're just one person, you're not a company, you're going to click on individual. That is it up there. Then we continue to tax exemptions. So in this case, I'm in Uganda. We don't have any tax exemptions with the with ireland or with the u.s so i put no then we continue are you eligible for other you know tax exemptions and everything so you click on no and then you submit and it will take a few minutes and they will bring to you back that everything has been accepted so for in case you've been told to fill the ireland tax info that is what you will do and it is so short and simple but when it comes to the american tax info or the usa tax info they are going to need you to fill the whben form so when you click to your tax info in your google adsense account guys or if you receive an email that you should fill your tax info you're going to look for the form w8 ben that is what you have too so sometimes you fill it and you don't give when you don't give all the information that they need they will tell you to maybe submit the missing documents or to submit new form so in this case my address was you know a little bit you know not well filled so i decided to submit a new form so you click to submit new form which you can you will be seeing it in your google adsense i'm sorry my page is not showing everything very well but just follow my voice you will understand everything as you open yours so when you go to the united states tax info still you're going to feel that you account that is in your name it is individual not non-individual so you click on individual and also read through everything so that you understand everything very well so they are going to ask you are you a citizen of america or you a non-citizen so you choose who you are you are a non-citizen you're not a citizen of america after you click next then it takes you to the next uh subsection or the next uh, thing that you're supposed to fill so next we go to tax identity so in tax identity they ask for the name of the individual who is the beneficial owner so you put your name after that they ask you for some other things the optionals if you see anything that is optional please don't fill it especially if you're a non-us citizen so they are going to tell you to look you to state your country in this case i stated uganda so i looked for it and it is there uganda then you go to next after next they take you to now address and whenever you go to next the other one that you filled in the subsection that you've already filled it is also already shown up there in whatever you filled so when it comes to tax identity uh it is already filled they will show you what you filled and it is already there if you need any editing you do so if you don't you pl you click on next and you continue to the next subsection there are number of sections so now we are going to address so here they tell you to fill or you click whether it is your your pass your permanent residence address as a PO box, that PO box, whether it is the same as the mailing box. So here it is a little bit tricky, but this is what I filled. Please follow through. The country, I put Uganda. The street address, I thought I was going to put my PO box number, but no, I was not supposed to put that. So I put where I stay. For example, I put Ngumba Central in Entebbe street address you just put if you're staying in tinder you just put maybe in tinder or chisas in tinder or if you stay in masaka you just put maybe any town in masaka where you stay in masaka because in uganda we don't have street addresses or 
you, you stay to whatever uh, re- ca- town you stay in. That is what I put for street address. Then when we went to the city here, because I stated that I'm in Uganda, they already put for me Kampala. But guys, I decided to just put Entebbe. So wherever there is city, because you have to fill the mailing address and also the permanent residence address. Permanent residence address, where you stay, not your PO box number. It is a little bit tricky there, so you have to follow through. So for the city, I decided to just put Entebbe because they, there is a time where I put Kampala and they they didn't approve my my tax info so this time round i decided to just put entebbe because in kumba central is also in entebbe so that is what i put i didn't click on permanent residence or mailing address those things as you see them there in those boxes i just filled after that i went to the mailing address i put uganda as the country in kumba central the street i repeated that the city i, I repeated entebbe then i clicked next so I think if you follow through, you will understand everything. After now, the subsection of address is filled, we go to tax treaty. So in tax treaty, they ask you whether you, you they just stated that Uganda and the U.S. don't have a tax treaty. So that means they have to be charging you 30% of every money that you make when it comes to YouTube in the U.S. So if you... Are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding and a tax treaty? You just click on no. You're not, you know, claiming any withdrawal or anything because Uganda does not have any uh, tax treaty with the U.S. If it did, we would have clicked on uh, yes. So after that, we continue. So now they are telling us activities and services performed in the U.S. So do you have any activities that you've performed in the U.S. before? If it is yes, you click yes. If it is no, you click no. In this case, just being a YouTuber, content creator, I just say no. Because this account is only for YouTube and the Google AdSense. So I don't have any other services that I've performed in the U, in the US before. So that is also finished. Then we go to tax reporting. Guys, remember, please read through everything and everything so that you don't misplace or mistake anything. So here they ask you if you want your to 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 if you want your papers, you know, paperless. If you want your tax reporting to be paperless. Or it should be sent by mail. So I clicked on sending by mail. That is what I clicked. And I clicked next to go to the document preview. So at the document preview, they send you this W8BEN form in the PDF. You can click on it. It downloads onto your phone. You read through so that you see that the information you filled is all correct. If you see that everything is correct that is good you go back so that we confirm so you click on i confirm that i've reviewed the generated you know everything those words you see there and that is that if you have any changes please make the changes then we go to certify and sign so here it's like you're swearing in you're like under penalties of perjury i declare that you know you have to read through everything there and understand it very well. If you have any questions, guys, always ask anybody who knows better or look for the information on Google so that you feel everything correctly. And guys, it doesn't matter. This thing is simple. You know, you just do or uh, click on the correct or the truth about yourself and everything will be approved it is so simple and it is quick just that you have to read through so after that one you know all those words there you have to read them so that you understand everything that you are feeling so i agree that i will submit a new form within 30 days if any certifications made on this form becomes incorrect so you have to read through that and change its status affidavit. That is not for me who is a, a non-US citizen. So I'm just going to leave that part and I go down to your signature. 
so guys remember always read through everything you see here i was trying to read through so that i don't make mistakes when you make mistakes they don't approve you so here just clicked on yes i am the beneficial owner named in the tax identity section above and after that in, instead of signing your name will come down here and then you will click on submit so after submitting guys it takes a few minutes and then you will be accepted so that first one is for the ireland tax info that is what was sent to me that i need to you know approve the ireland tax info yet i'm a ugandan but it is okay it is for all sometimes all non-us citizens are sent that and also the form w8 ben for the us non-citizens guys it is saying status approved so even when you go to your email addresses or oh, your email you know inbox they will send google payments will send you an email saying that your tax info has been approved or accepted so this one is for the ireland one you can click on check and you know you see everything back in your google adsense but it will be showing in your google adsense and also they will send you emails just as you see here so even for the the u.s non-citizen uh tax info it will also show you that you've been approved in green there as you see if you've not been approved it will be it will also show in your google adsense but don't fear guys they will give you more chances so that you approve your tax info so that is it thank you